Hello, and welcome to my course, Digital Figure Drawing Using 3D Models in Clip Studio Paint. Now, this is a really interesting course because it's really a quilt stitched together from several remnants that were left on the cutting room floor and that I felt should actually be in possession of my students. So what you're going to do here is you're going to learn digital figure drawing using a product called Clip Studio Paint. This is a really superior drawing and painting tool. And you're going to use 3D posable models to draw from. Then you're going to, I'm going to show you how to do crude sketches from them. And finally, how to do vector inking of your finished figures, where you can actually contour lines and, and have points to your lines and thicknesses and, and so on, and move them around as you like to fit the figure that you're drawing. So without any more ado, let's go ahead and we'll get into this. Now, I want to give you the background on how this course came together. I originally released Posing 3D Drawing Models as a YouTube video, and it received several positive reviews. So when I found that I had already produced the video for Sketch Figures, which was the next uh, lecture in the course that I had been planning at the time, I was thrilled, but still the material was too short for Udemy. This was stuff that I'd recorded about mid-2015 that we're talking about here. Now, when I released this, so so I got this stuff together and I released it in a shortened format on another learning management system, one that accepted shorter classes. But then recent discoveries <laughs> led to this. I recently discovered that I had also recorded a lecture on inking figures, which was going to be the third lecture in the series, but that I'd never produced the video. So I went ahead and I produced the video and I decided to include it with the previous material that I had, and I finally had enough to maybe consider a Udemy course, but still I felt that something was missing. I, I remembered something and I searched, and I searched my two terabytes of disk space, and eventually I found another recording, which was an overview of the Smith Micro Drawing and Animation Tools, of which Clip Studio Paint is one. And I threw that in here. Could it be that there is more to discover on my disk drive? It turned out there was. I found that I had actually gone through the drawing or coloring and shading process for the figure that I demonstrated on my disk drive, but that I hadn't recorded the class yet. So here I found two more potential lectures, one on coloring and shading figures, and the other I was going to do backgrounds of 3D perspective backgrounds. Clip Studio Paint is amazing at doing 3D perspective uh, drawings extremely easily. So that was going to be the additional lectures. Now, what is Clip Studio Paint, formerly known as Manga Studio? And all I can say for now is that it's probably the most amazing drawing and painting tool that you're likely to see. And I hope to prove that to you in this course. So what will you learn in this course? First, here is Clip Studio Paint on the right, and you're seeing a posable figure. So we're going to look at using 3D posable models as rep representations for our drawing. Now, in this, I'm going to show you how to pose the models and to either set them off to the side and using the, uh, use them as a drawing reference or to draw over the top of them. And even how to zoom in on features like hands, which are typically very hard to draw and get a reference model for a hand. So rather than that wooden dummy that you've got on your drawing table next to you, this is a virtual wooden dummy that you have on your computer. And this is the course that drew attention on YouTube. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to throw in the sketching figures and inking figures and my Smith Micro Graphics Tools overview, which is all of the videos that I found. And I'm going to also include an outline of the two planned lectures. Now, here's the deal. If I get an enthusiastic response to this course, then I will go ahead and pull back up uh, Clip Studio Paint and my 
original drawings and I will show you these last two lectures and we'll complete them. If this course goes splat, then you're not likely to ever see these. So you're taking a chance at enrolling in this course, actually. Isn't that interesting? So with that, let's get to the beginning and we're going to learn how to use Clip Studio Paint to pose models.